Hey guys, today we're gonna to be looking at more percent proportions. We're gonna answer the question, how can I use a percent proportion to find a missing part or total? So a percent proportion is a proportion where one ratio compares part of a quantity to the whole quantity and the other ratio is the equivalent percent. So it looks like this, part over whole or total equals that equivalent percent out of 100. So today we're gonna to be finding one part of this ratio right here. We're gonna be finding the part or total or the whole following these steps. We need to read the problem and carefully identify the given percent and then either the part or the whole. And then we can set up our percent proportion and then solve that percent of proportion for the part or the total that the question was asking for. So let's look at number one. It says find 12.5% of 88. So they gave us the percent and then 88 is the whole. So I am trying to figure out what part of 88 is equivalent to 12.5 out of 100. So now I'm gonna cross multiply to solve this proportion. So the first thing that I need to do is 88 times 12.5. And I get that 88 times 12.5 is 1100. And then 100 times X is 100 X. So to find the missing percent, I will do 1100 divided by 100, which is 11. So 12.5% of 88 is 11. All right, let's look at number two. It says, what number is 35% of 48? So they gave us the percent and we're trying to figure out what number out of 48. So 48 is our whole is 35%. So here's how we're gonna set up our proportion. X out of 48 equals 35 out of 100. So now I'm going to cross multiply to solve this proportion. The first thing I need to do is 48 times 35. So I get that 48 times 35 is 1,680. And then X times 100 is 100 X. So then I divide by 100 and I get 16.8. So 16.8 is 35% of 48. Okay, let's look at number three. It says 75% is 20% of what number? So they gave us the percent and then it said 75% is 20% of what number? So the whole is what I'm looking for this time. They gave me the part. So my proportion will look like this, 75 out of I don't know equals 20 over 100. Now I'm going to solve this proportion. So the first thing I'm going to do is simplify 20 out of 100 by dividing both of these numbers by 20. And I get that 75 over X equals one out of five. And now I'm going to cross multiply and 75 times five is 375. And it equals X times one, which is just X. So 75% is 20% of 375. Okay, let's look at number four. It says 19 is 62.5% of what number? So they gave us the part and they want us to find the whole. They want us to find 62.5% what whole 19 is out of. So I'm gonna set up my proportion 19 out of, I don't know how much, equals 62.5 out of 100. So now I'm gonna cross multiply to solve. And 19 times 100 is 1900. And it equals 62.5 X. And now I'm going to divide by 62.5. And I get that X equals 
four. So 19 is 62.5% of 30.4. Okay, let's look at number five. It says a basketball team won 55% of their games during their regular season. If they had 60 games during their regular season, how many games did they win? So they told us the percent and then they told us the total. They had 60 games in total. They told us the whole. So I want to know out of their 60 games... If they won 55%, how many games did they win? So this is the proportion that I'm going to be solving. The first thing I need to do is 60 times 55. And then X times 100 is 100 X. So I get 3,300 equals 100 X. And then I'm going to divide by 100, and I get that x equals 33. So that means that they won 33 out of their 60 games. Okay, number six says Eric correctly answered 70% of the questions on his Texas history exam. He counted 14 correct answers on his paper. How many total questions did Eric have on his Texas history exam if each question was of equal value? So they're asking us to find the total, the whole, they gave us the part. He answered 14 correct, and then they also gave us the percent. So let's set up our proportion here. He answered 14 correct out of I don't know how many, and he got a 70%, so 70 out of 100. Okay, I'm going to simplify this proportion first by simplifying this fraction. Both of those numbers are divisible by 10, so this ratio is equivalent to 7 out of 10. Okay, now those numbers are a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to cross multiply. 14 times 10 is 140 and x times 7 is 7x, and then I would divide by 7, and I get that x equals 20. So that means there was a total of 20 questions on the exam. Okay, number 7, a book bag is on sale for $7.50. This is a this is 60% of the original price. What was the original price of the book bag? So I know that the book bag is on sale for $7.50. That's the part, because I don't know the original price, what it was originally out of. So my proportion would be 7.5 over X equals 60 out of 100. And now I'm going to cross multiply to solve 7.5 times 100 is 750 and it equals 60 times X. And then I divide by 60 and 750 divided by 60 is 1250. So the original price of the book bag was $12.50. All right, last one, number eight. The school cafeteria offered a choice of hamburgers or tacos to seventh grade students. Out of the 240 students in seventh grade, 25% chose hamburgers. How many seventh graders chose hamburgers? So they gave us the total amount of students and then they told us that 25% chose hamburgers. So they gave us the whole and they want us to find the part of the whole, 25% of the whole, that liked hamburgers. So... My proportion will be, I don't know how many out of the 240 like hamburgers, but I know that 25%, to, so 25 out of 100 liked them. Okay, now before I solve this, I'm going to simplify this fraction. I'm going to divide both of these numbers by 25. And I get X out of 240 equals 1 out of 4. Now I'm going to cross simplify. 1 times 240 is 240, and then 4 times x is 4x, and then I'm going to divide by 4, and I get 60. So that means 60 7th graders chose hamburgers.